Hey guys, welcome back. I hope everyone is still going well. Uh, welcome to the second video of my group of three of the new new wave of 2018 for Star Wars The Black Series and the 6 inch line. Um, we're going to look at Ray. It's Island Journey. Uh, this is my favourite Ray figure. Um, not just because of the facial sculpt, this is actually my favourite costume that Ray has um, so far in Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. Um, I do like her um, sort of Jedi outfit that she has, which is very reminiscent of her scavenger outfit. I do like that a lot. I like the blues. But there's something about this one I really, really like. So I'm really pumped to have this figure. Um, amazing likeness in the face. Um, we'll get nice and close up to that later. Um, but yeah, we'll go through her accessories very quickly. Actually, I won't. We'll go through the... We'll just have to check out the box art. Um, and if you watched my last video, I spoke about the artist that does this, Gregory Titus. You can check his work out on Instagram. He does a lot of good stuff. Um, and he does does talk about some of the artwork. Some some he finds challenging. Some he finds to be quite, quite easy and enjoyable. So there's a bit of a... Bit of a read up there. Island Journey. out of the way we'll get onto the figure all right so she comes with obviously Anakin Luke Ray's lightsaber this is the same one we've had for a little bit now they seem to have just decided to stick with this one it's nice blue um, the hilt's pretty nice it's got that little peak clip on the top so yeah it's 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 all right I wish it was a little bit we had a couple that were a little bit sturdier earlier on. This one's a little bit flexible. Bends easy. You can sort of see there's a bend, a couple of bends in it, which is a little bit, a little bit awkward, but that's okay. Um, we get her staff, which yeah, which I, they've gone with this as the definitive now. The first one, the weird sort of strap that sort of sat on her shoulder. Funny, it was all weird and yeah, it wasn't that great. So they've tweaked that, they fixed that up, and this is this is what we're getting now, which is nice looks a lot nicer and we get her blaster again which is I've currently got holstered look at this come on there you go it just does slot in there really nice actually really nice snug fit we also get this uh, hood robe she wears a little bit throughout the last Jedi through the the wet weather scenes. Hello, it's okay. It's nicely done. So sure, if I spent a little bit more time, I could get it to sit down a little better or sit up on her head a little better. But I remove it because I think it looks better. Just, <laughs> it looks better just as this standard resistance outfit, which looks good. Really nice design. I like the back of the back of the uh, so I guess it's a waistcoat kind of thing. Some of the va fabric details there looks awesome. You can see the wrapping up her upper arms there. In the absence of long sleeves. I do wish she sort of come with the strap carry bag that she's got Luke's lightsaber in. That would have been a cool extra accessory as well, but that's okay. Get into her legs. It's the brown sort of three quarter, three quarter trousers. And just, just sort of regular standard looking boots. There's nothing, nothing too special about them, but they look good. Nice, nice pattern and detail in them. Head sculpt's perfect. Um, you know, they've done that well. Hair's done nicely. I've never really paid attention to whether she's got like um, colored hair ties as to whether they're just brown or they just match her hair or whether it is just her hair tied up with her own hair. <laughs> um, so there's no extra sort of color detail there. But here we go to the face. Yeah, just such a great likeness a 
you've you've won this one, Hasbro. Well done. This is a uh, yeah. This is a figure that I'm going to buy a second one of, so I can use this head on the uh, Force Awakens sort of scavenger outfit, Ray. I'm gonna just just head swap them, and um, that will breathe new life, breathe new life into that figure as well. I think. Um, yeah, it's just really well done. Really great likeness of uh, Daisy Ridley. Um, yeah, this is this is a great looking figure. Um, yeah, just a big fan of this one. Can't wait to sort of go outside and get some shots. Try and find some cool spots where I can take this figure out and get some cool photos. Um, maybe with Luke. Yeah, definitely, definitely recommend this one if you're keen. If you like, some people have uh, decided they don't need another ray, but I think the just the way they've done the face face now is uh, enough to sort of change their mind. This could be the definitive ray for now. Yeah, yeah, we're getting this from now on, which is this just brings a new new excitement to this to this figure line. Yeah, again, articulations are pretty standard for the for the black series, which is nice. This is nicely painted all over, really. Um, I know I've spent a lot of time focusing on the the details of the, of the face and what they're doing with that new printed digital printing tech, but uh, I mean, just the little the little black belt buckle there, and you know, I don't see if there's any other clips or buckles around the belt. But yeah, just the details are really good on this one. You know, like I said, that's that's fantastic. That pattern, really nicely done. So again, I hope you've enjoyed this one as well, guys. Um, again, let me know in the comments below what you think. And stay tuned because I've got DJ coming up next. Whether you love him or whether you hate him, we're going to take a look at his action figure. So stay tuned. And until next time, may the force be with you.